Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can upgrade your MSG on version 1.1.2, as well as how to add modifiers such as attack up plus 10 onto your real Master Sword. Now, real quickly before we start, this is not going to work for you, at least not the same way, on version 1.0. This is still possible on version 1.0, however, there are some additional steps and some modifications that need to be made to the process, so I'm going to be putting out an entire separate dedicated video on how to do this on 1.0. If you are on 1.1.0 or 1.1.1, then the only use for this glitch for you is adding a modifier onto your real Master Sword. If you are trying to upgrade your MSG, there is a much faster and much easier way to do this for version 1.1.0 and 1.1.1, and I'll link that video up in the top right of this one and down in the description. Now, moving on to the requirements. These are going to vary a bit depending on which version you're doing this on, but regardless of your version, you're going to need your host weapon. This is the MSG that you want to upgrade, and then you're going to need your donor weapon. This is the weapon that has all of the upgrades you want to copy from, as well as two empty slots in your weapons inventory. And then for the version specific requirements, if you're on 1.1.0 or 1.1.1, then you'll just need one shield, and one bow. Doesn't matter what they are, you just need one of each. If you are on version 1.1.2, then you will need a total of 16 to 20 shields and bows combined. That means that you will need to go and collect enough Korok seeds to upgrade your bow or shield inventory enough, so that way you can hold 16 to 20 between the two of them. Doesn't really matter what the combination is, how much of each you use, you just need a total of 16 to 20 of them. And I do want to clarify, I don't know if this is absolutely required to make the glitch work, but I do know that I have yet to get this glitch to work without zuggling at least one bow. So even if you have a full shield inventory and you have 20 shields, I very highly advise zuggling at least one bow with them. And then if you're on 1.1.2, you will also need a shock emitter. Now, as for location... Regardless of which version you're on, you just need to come somewhere that has a flat wall that you can stand with your back up against. To actually get into the glitch, the first thing we need to do before we start performing anything is we need to set up a save. This is going to be important because we're going to need to reload this save later. So what we want to do is we're going to equip our MSG, and then you'll want to equip one bow. Really doesn't matter what the bow is, we just need to have these items equipped because it's going to make our life significantly easier later on. So once you have those, you're just going to place down your save, and that's all good. So now the next thing we need to do is zuggle 16 to 20 bows and shields. It does not matter what form of zuggling you use for this. If you're on 1.1.0 or 1.1.1, you can use map zuggling. That's what I'm going to be doing for the sake of my own time and sanity. But if you're on 1.1.2, you will need to use smuggle stacking, which is what our shock dispenser is for. Now, if you haven't already seen my video on how to perform zuggling on 1.1.2, I'll give you a quick little rundown. You'll just need a full set of shock resistance, and then we're going to put on our shield. It's the same process for shields and bows. I'm just going to be showing one for the sake of time. We're going to walk into the shock with our shield or bow out in our hand, remove, press minus for your adventure log, and then go load up and skip through two memories. Once those are finished, we're going to press plus again, and then we're going to go back to either our shield or our bow, whichever one you're trying to zuggle. Then we're going to drop it, press minus again, and we're going to load up and skip through one more cutscene. Once that's done, press B to back out. You'll get zapped, and you can walk away. If you have a shield and you try and put it away, this will happen. If you used a bow and you tried to put it away, you'll just attempt to put it on your back, but it won't work and just come back out into your hand. Once you're in either of those positions, hold down R for your rune wheel, select one of your runes, and as soon as you let go, then you need to time either right on the D-pad for your bow menu or left on the D-pad for your shield menu, like this. Then you're going to scroll through, you're going to equip one of them and let go, and that's going to stop your animation or... If you're using a bow, it'll let you take it out and actually put it away. From here, we're just going to get up against our flat wall. If you're using a bow, then you need to press ZR to bring it out into your hand. And then same thing, hold down our rune menu, have any rune selected. And then when we release, we're going to time either right on the D-pad for bow or left on the D-pad for shield. 
and then you're going to press drop. Your rune will come up. You'll see you can't take that out here. And now you have fully zuggled the shield or bow. So that's how you do that for 1.1.2. Now just repeat this another 15 to 19 times. And I'm going to go ahead and skip to once I'm done that. And once I'm finished, I will cut back in and show you what it's going to look like on 1.1.2 once you've zuggled enough equipment. Now, if your map's zuggling and that happens when you go to drop the shield from your inventory, that means you've done enough. So you're all done zuggling and you're ready to move on to the next step. Now, the way you'll be able to tell that you've zuggled enough on 1.1.2 is either you'll go to equip your rubber helmet to go back into the shock emitter to start another zuggle and it will just float there. Or when you finish a zuggle and you step away from the shock emitter, you'll see Link's hair floating in, in place. Once either of those have happened, then you are done zuggling. You're ready to move on to the next step. So once we're done zuggling, now we want to go into our system and we want to load up that save that we made earlier. And now once we've reached this point and you finished all your zuggling, this is essentially a checkpoint in the setup. Now anything that gets messed up from this point, your zuggling will stay. You will not have to redo that. Anytime something gets messed up, we simply need to reload this save and then start from there again. Now once we are loaded back in, you'll see that Link is kind of T-posing. And if you walk away, then you'll see some or all of your gear standing behind staring at you menacingly so once we get in here you want to go into your inventory and you want to remove your equipped weapon go back in uh, go into your armor and then you want to cycle all of your armor just unequip it re-equip it and then you should get your normal character model back from this point we're going to press zr and we're going to take out our bow we're going to go back into our inventory, and now we want to re-equip our target weapon. And then when you unpause, the weapon, or your MSG, should be on your back, and it should not fall to your feet. If it fell to your feet, then you will need to reload the save and do it again. I believe that happens when you do not have your bow drawn. So you need to make sure that you have your bow drawn. This is why we equipped one before we made that safety save in the very beginning, because it would guarantee that we could have a bow equipped. Once we're in this position, we have the MSG on our back. We have our bow out. We're going to pause again. And we're going to equip just any other weapon. Not your donor weapon. This is just any other miscellaneous weapon. And you should see that fall to or through the floor. That's fine. We don't worry about that. Now we go back into our menu and we want to equip our MSG again. Now, very important. If this falls through the ground like the other sword did, then the glitch has broken. You need to reload the save and start over from there. Try just moving around like I did after dropping the extra weapon. Usually that will give it enough collision to stay on the ground. So once you've dropped it and it's on the ground, we're going to pick it back up. From here, we're going to go into our inventory. Now we're going to select our donor weapon, and we're going to drop it. And now when we pick it up, it should equip onto our back, like this. If you press A to pick up this weapon, and it stays on the ground, and you're able to pick it up twice, then the glitch has broken, and you need to reload the save and start from there again. If it's ended up on your back like this, then you'll go into your inventory. You'll see that your MSG has been duped, and the one that you have equipped now has all of the upgrades on it. It has the modifier, it has the fuse material, and its durability now matches the donor. From here, just remove it, re-equip it, and that's gonna resync the weapon in your inventory, and now it's permanently upgraded. That's your MSG, done, complete. Now to perform this on our regular Master Sword, we can do that straight from here once we've done the MSG. You just need to make sure that you remove your MSG, you unequip it first, unpause, and then take out your bow. Now, if you're upgrading your real Master Sword, I would recommend just prepping a separate donor weapon that only has the modifier, because this is realistically the only thing that you're gonna gain a benefit from transferring. Because the regular Master Sword is able to fuse material to it on its own, and it has depleting durability. So one HP and a fused material aren't gonna be really any benefit from this. So we're after that attack up plus 10. So when we have, once we have our bow out, 
no weapon equipped. I'm gonna follow the same steps and we're going to equip our Master Sword. It'll end up on our back like so. And then same thing, we're going to equip just any other sword. It'll hit the ground. And then we're gonna go back and we're going to re-equip our Master Sword. You don't have to worry about picking it up because it's automatically gonna pick back up in your inventory because the game won't let it be dropped. Now from here, just like before, we're going to drop our donor weapon and then we're going to pick it up and it should go onto our back. And then when we pause, you'll see that our Master Sword on the icon shows that it has the attack up. And now this is where it's gonna differ because now we need to go into our house and we need to go to a weapon display stand. And we're going to press display and you'll see that even though we had the stick equipped, there's a master sword on our display stand. Now simply make a save. Load that save. And then your body will probably be all messed up again. But then you just go back into your house. Go to your weapon display. Take the Master Sword. And you'll see that you now have a Master Sword with an attack up plus 10 modifier. It's not going to show on the name, but the damage is there. The modifier is there and it has applied editing me here. Now, if you want to get rid of the extra Master Sword that you have, all you need to do is equip the one that we just put the attack up plus 10 on, save your game, and then close and reopen it, and it will just delete the unmodified one and bring you back to one. Otherwise, if you want to keep both of them, just know that anytime you deplete the energy in one of them, it will deplete the energy in all normal Master Swords in your inventory. And then, as always, once you're finished, and you want to end your Zuggle, just drop your equipped bow and shield, and everything will hit the floor, and then you can just pick up all of the equipment that you had used up. So this isn't going to cost you all of your shields. This isn't going to cost you all of your bows. In fact, doing it like this is actually going to duplicate each and every one of them for you. And as you saw during the process, this is also a way that you can very easily duplicate your MSG as many times as you want. Once you enter Zuggle Overload, all you have to do is just equip the item. It'll drop down, pick it up, and then just the same thing, just equip the other one. It'll drop, pick it up, equip the next one, drop, pick it up. And you can just sit here and just duplicate as many of them as you want. But that's going to do it for this one. If you liked the video, leave it a like and let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more Tears of the Kingdom glitches, subscribe to the channel.